Hi, everyone, and welcome. Sorry, I had technical difficulty yesterday and couldn't um, get online to be with you guys, but I'm just going to take a little bit of time to discuss truncal. Um, that's the trunk of the body, um, abdomen, um, and, and discuss that and genital lymphedema, compression strategies, and just do a little demo of um, MLD for the trunk. So as many of you know, I will share my screen here. Um, as many of you know, just a picture of the lymphatic system. If we go to Google Images, um, here we have a picture of, you know, many pictures of the lymphatic system. So if you look at this one, for example, our big groups of lymph nodes are in the axilla, each side of the armpit, and in the inguinal area, or the groin. So each limb, the arm and leg, um, drains or moves fluid to this corresponding lymph node group. So the axilla for the arms and the inguinal area for the legs. But what's often missed is this discussion on the trunk. So if you imagine an imaginary line down the middle and then at the edge of each rib, there's kind of these imaginary lines where these lymph vessels from the trunk also drain to the corresponding lymph node group. And here the lymph vessels from the trunk correspond to the lymph node group. And in the lower quadrant, um, they drain down. So today we're going to discuss a general MLD for the trunk. This is not um, appropriate if you've had lymph node removal in the groin or upper extremity because you'll have some rerouting that has occurred because basically if you're experiencing trunk or breast congestion here, we don't want to move lymph fluid to this area of lymph nodes where the lymph nodes are removed and already struggling to keep up that's when you really need to learn a rerouting MLD from your therapist, from your certified lymphedema therapist. Um, but what we will learn is some basic trunk MLD for general decongestion, or let's say you have lower extremity lymphedema um, from venous insufficiency or lipedema, and there's just an insufficiency or difficulty in the fluid getting up to these lymph nodes, but they're already there, then we'll show some ways to decongest the the stomach as well. <clears throat> so in the superficial system, we actually are going to stimulate each of the lymph node groups in the four and then drain each quadrant toward those lymph node groups. Okay, so let me stop share. So I'm just going to um, have a tank top on and I'm just going to show you a, a general trunk MLD routine. So of course we're going to start with five deep belly breaths. Just some deep belly breathing here. Inhale through your nose. And as you inhale, you're gonna let your belly really stick out. So inhale. And then draw the belly back in as you exhale. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna do that five times. Okay, and then again, this is just appropriate for um, all the lymph nodes are intact, but we have a sluggish system and we want to decongest. Okay, um, if you're told by your therapist, you can also send fluid to the corresponding lymph node group, then this would be appropriate as well. But basically, we're going to divide the trunk into four quadrants. Okay, so right now we're just going to work the top upper quadrants and then I'll move the screen lower for the bottom quadrants. So we're going to take a flat hand, again this is if all your lymph nodes are intact, flat hand really get in that lymph node group. We're going to do stretching circles for five repetitions. You can use a fair amount of pressure because remember the lymph nodes sit one to three centimeters deep in fatty tissue. <clears throat> um, the lymph vessels um, are really where we want the skin stretch and the lighter stroke. So remember now to this lymph node group, everything on this side of midline and this edge of the rib is trying to get here. So we wanna assist that. So with our hand on the skin, we're gonna do five skin stretching sweeps toward this area on each part of that quadrant. 
Okay, just enough to get a skin stretch. And we're just gonna sweep. And this is not the exact MLD your therapist may do, but I find it is a good home care routine and that's really what we're focusing on because if I make this very difficult and tons of different hand techniques and motions, it's not likely that you're gonna do it and I'd rather give you something easier that you can do rather than something that's not gonna to be too realistic, time consuming and you're not gonna do it. So we wanna get all the areas covered. Here above the breast, we can do five of those stretching sweeps again. Okay, and then on the breast tissue itself, I like to do five really rigorous breast circles in each direction, okay? Really stimulating the lymph nodes at the base of the breast. And again, this is assuming that you have all your lymph nodes. You need a completely different routine if you're a mastectomy patient, okay? This is just for general wellness and lymph stimulation, okay? Oh, I can't cover everything in one video. Okay, and then down to the edge of the rib, also when you're on your skin, you're gonna do sweeps up toward that lymph node group. Okay. And then I would do five more deep belly breaths, and then you'll do the same thing on the other side. Stimulate the axilla, five strokes, and then five stretching sweeps on each area down to the rib. Okay, I won't go through the whole thing. And then exaggerated, breath circles on each side. For the lower quadrants, it's gonna be very similar. You're going, and this is really what comes into play with lower extremity. When we have um, venous insufficiency edema, primary lymphedema, lipedema, we have over 300 lymph nodes in our lower belly. We have a huge network of lymphatic vessels. So often when you're dealing with lower extremity congestion, this is what's backed up right here. So we want, if we wanna move what's in the traffic jam at our ankle, we really have to move all the cars out of the way in the accident that's up here first, okay? So we really wanna decongest the inguinal area in the lower quadrant, and we're gonna have better results with our lower extremity MLD. So again, for this, this is for um, assuming your lymph nodes are intact in the groin, flat hand, and just right where your crease is, where your leg meets your body, right there. I usually say middle finger in the crease. That way half of my hands above, half of my hands below. And a firm five stretching circles. It won't hurt you to do more than that. I just say five so everybody can remember. And then you're just with getting contact on the skin, we're gonna try and get skin on skin. You're gonna do sweeps toward that lymph node group. Okay, five slow skin stretching sweeps. It's important to be on the skin so you can get that skin stretch. That's really what we want to, to get, the skin stretch down toward the lymph node group. And we're gonna go to that edge of the rib and toward this midline, okay? And then the same thing on this side, stimulate the lymph node group first and then sweep the skin toward that area. So we wanna remember that our lymph nodes work like bulb syringes, like turkey basters. So whenever we put pressure and massage them, it starts that mechanical vacuum or suction action. Okay, so we wanna start the vacuum first. Just think if you were in a garage and you had a huge mess or sand all over, you turn your shop back on first with your tube and then you might sweep the sand toward the tube. And then once you get it so close, that tube's gonna suck that sand up. Okay, so it's kind of the same thing. That's just superficial, all right? We can do deep abdominal lymph drainage at another time, another video, um, but that's a whole different set of um, contraindications and precautions. So for today, we're just gonna do superficial. I also wanted to show you some other strategies and some things um, for genital compression. Let's see. Um, one second. I had it up here right before we. Um,
genital and trunk, just some compensatory strategies for, um, for here we go. Tips for treating genital and truncal lymphedema. Um, so kinesio taping can be, and this is made for a therapist, so some may be applicable for you, some may not be. Um, kinesio taping um, toward the side. So if you have a therapist that can train you in kinesio taping, they can kinesio tape the drainage pattern toward your healthy lymph node groups. If you have um, problems with trunk or breast edema. Um, of course, stockings to prevent lower extrem extremity swelling. Um, the trunk, if you can't afford a custom compression, then Spanx or body shapers, the generic body shapers at Target or Walmart, or um, bike shorts can be used for lower trunk compression. Um, if you experience genital edema due to lower extremity lymph nodes um, being removed, those um, compression shorts often with Kotex pads in it, or your therapist can cut a piece of foam kind of in a T-shape that you can put between your underwear and some compression shorts to give you some compression if you have labial edema or um, mons pubis over your pubic bone, and that tends to swell. Um, also, some people have made swell spots are great. Some people have even made their own with, um, if you have any sewing skills, with some cheap um, egg crate, you know, a twin sized egg crate foam mattress is about $15 and they'll cut different shapes and then sew some soft t-shirt material around those. Um, sometimes those hospital bags that have the strings on the end that you used to put ice in, attaching a strap or belt um, can be used for scrotal swelling. Um, for trunk edema, I have for some patients used abdominal binders, even ones, you know, if they have zero funds, um, they have ones for $10 or so at Amazon. They're not, it's not ideal, but um, I think they're called waist trimmers. But if you cannot afford any other type of um, garment, those can be Velcroed together to provide some abdominal compression. Um, certainly there are compression devices and flexi touch and other devices that could be used, um, Velcro garments, uh, deep belly breathing, um, also baby sling, those, um, cloth baby slings can be used sometimes to, in fashion to lift, uh, abdominal panis, um, in some, in some cases. Athletic cups can be modified or sewn differently for scrotal edema. Um, sometimes it takes some seamstress skills, but that can be a little bit more um, cost effective than some compression garments. And a lot of things I recommend that people just try. So see if will, this will work, see if they'll even wear it a little bit. And then if, if it really helps, then we can go to getting a custom garment for that area. But I don't want to have them spend that amount of money if they're not going to wear it anyway. So um, some jock straps can be modified, um, biker shorts, Kotex pads, um, compressor grip. Um, and then surgical netting, there's some compression pads. Um, separate surgical netting can hold foam or compression pads in place. And then even wavy kinesio tape, kind of in a fan cut above the, the groin or abdomen. So these are some ideas you can, um, if you're not sure what some of these are, you can share them with your therapist or the ones that are not invasive, like wearing compression shorts or, um, adding foam between your underwear and your compression shorts hopefully will be things that you can um, try on your own. Um, so I hope that helped. Again, that's just superficial trunk lymph drainage, stimulating the corresponding lymph node and skin stretching sweeps toward that. Um, maybe we'll do deep abdomen at, at a later time, um, or we'll hit the next thing on your, your request list of um, videos from um, Ask a CLT. So just um, you're welcome to message me on Facebook if you have any questions and I'll try and connect you with resources as best I can. Thanks and have a great day.